But first, a group of teens turned themselves in after dancing their way to a store and stealing snacks. Good evening, I'm Amanda Kenny, And I'm Jenny Walsh. Thank you for joining us. Now, all but two have turned themselves in to the Brazos County Juvenile Detention Center. Now, KAG's HD News reporter So Young Kim talked with employees who were there the night of the incident. It's a more quiet day of work at Star Grocery for Louis Villa Real, but two weeks ago, the store was unusually busy. It was just so, so surprising, you know what I mean? You never see a group of like 20 kids just like that storm in. After a night of partying, a mob of 11 teens ran into a convenience store and stole about $200 worth of snacks. And I saw my coworker just like yelling, stop, stop, stop. So that's when I mean, I just, oh, we're getting robbed. But I mean, honestly, it was just chips and candy. You know what I mean? It was just kind of like one of those kind of things. I'm not going to put my life in danger over some candy. According to police, the group started their night here at Club Nice before walking across the street and dancing here in the Star Grocery parking lot before heading inside and stealing some items. Now the party's over for those teens. We identified all that were involved and charged 11 um, juveniles between the ages of 12 and 17 with riot, which is a class B misdemeanor. As of this afternoon, nine of the 11 teens turned themselves in. Um, we appreciate all the parents in this case and the children in this case because they have been very cooperative. Lewis says he's happy to see some closure. I mean, I'm glad they turned themselves in and not like, you know, ran away from the law because I mean, at least they're doing the right thing. Employees at Star Grocery say they were more shocked rather than scared, but are happy today is just business as usual. In Bryan, So Young Kim, KAGS HD News. A class B misdemeanor carries a punishment of up to 180 days in jail and a $2,000 fine.